Well, you've probably heard of Impossible Foods or Beyond Meats, two companies using plant-based protein to recreate the meat-eating experience without animals. Well, now a boulder-based business is taking a similar humane approach to your pet's diet, and it already has the backing of a big celebrity. You're in good company this week with Bond Pet Foods. More and more restaurant chains are starting to get transparent about animal welfare and ingredient sourcing in their foods. Companies on the human food side were starting to make hay about recreating meat and meat byproducts through biotechnology, and I was fascinated by it. It led Rich Kellerman and a team of scientists to launch Bond Pet Foods, which uses fermentation technology to give your pet all the protein it needs without the harm sometimes attached to conventional farm and field methods. I just started to ask that question, could there be a better way to give our pets the nutrition they need without all the farm and welfare, environmental, and safety downsides. Bond uses DNA samples from a chicken and couples it with a yeast strain to grow the protein in a lab. We feed it simple sugars, vitamins, and minerals. Uh, it starts to grow, and then when it reaches a certain density and composition, we harvest it. The end result is a paste-like product they dry into brittle and then break down into a powder, which can mix with other inclusions to make kibble. The concept has already caught the eye of a celebrity, Grammy-nominated singer and animal advocate Sia Furler is now one of Bond's investors and most vocal supporters. She has two dogs herself. And so she was looking for more responsible, humane solutions to feed them. And just serendipitously, she found us. Lucky for me, I got to try it. And by the way, you're one of the few people in the world that's actually tried this, yeah, aside from our it. investor. Oh, yeah, I'm, so. I'm, I'm honored. It's just as complete and bioavailable as meat protein. So your body will absorb it in the same way. And it's a process Kellerman hopes will be even more popular with pet food than people food. As for dogs and cats, you don't have to fully recapitulate the meat eating experience, right? It's not about the sizzle, the mouthfeel, the taste, the texture that has to be so perfect for people to embrace it. And again, it's a chicken protein that's grown in yeast, so it tastes more like yeast than it does conventional chicken. But it could revolutionize the dietary approach for your furriest family members. Yeah, a lot of potential here. Bond has partnered with Hills Pet Food Company on their research. They've also released dog treats first as they apply for FDA veterinary approval on their foods. It is bondpets.com if you want to check them out. I did try the treats on my dogs. And oh, they loved it. Good. They okay. loved it. Yeah.